Greetings, dear friends! I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Citroën C5. The suspension of the generation C5 comes in two versions the classic hydro pneumatics, hydroactive 3 plus, and spring, exactly the same as on the Peugeot 407. In the first version, this is a complex structure including an electric pump, seven hydraulic accumulators, valve blocks, a bunch of pipes and working cylinders, and the second, as you might guess, is just springs. However, the mechanical part itself is almost the same, only the conditions of its operation differ due to the difference in strokes. The front suspension is double wishbone and with a kingpin, which is a rarity in our time. The design is quite reliable, but there are many wearing parts. The screw-in ball joint, beloved by Citroëns, is used here as an upper one. It works reliably, only its steel body is tightly lower in the aluminum body of the kingpin. That is closer to 150 to 100,000 mileage, can lead to big problems during repairs. The lower ball serves less, but it's easy to change. The suspension arm has not a very successful rear silent block, the so-called snail. On cars with a spring suspension it works 50,000, a little but quite acceptable. But on cars with hydro pneumatics in which the suspension travel is much longer, its resource is usually less. Well, if it passes 30. The nuance is that the original silent block is not supplied separately, only complete with a lever at a price of $250 a piece. Non-original silent blocks are produced by Lemmy Further, Fabi, Miley and Sidem, but not to say they did it well. Moreover, errors in the operation of the suspension, assembly errors in the form of tightening in an inoperative position, greatly affect the resource. In principle, the price of $15 for a silent block with the body is inexpensive, but thrifty Citroën fans have found another option. The silent from the Mercedes W210 lever fits perfectly into the standard snail body and lasts quite a long time largely due to the fact that it becomes partially self-aligning. It turns when the maximum load is exceeded in the hinge housing because it has a separate aluminum cage. The rear suspension is multi-link, rather delicate in comparison with the primitive design on its predecessor. There are five interchangeable silent blocks per side and two more levers with permanent silent blocks. It's not cheap to contain such a structure, even if you install non-original elements. The main problem with the breakup lever is it is composite. The price is not very high, about $50, but the original doesn't last long and the adjustment bolts zower. There are silent blocks to the lever, but they rarely fail. Various improvements in the form of welding or even installing a slightly shortened steering linkage from the bus 2109 instead of it are popular among economical car owners in their regions. The springs are rather weak, especially the rear ones. Extreme turns burst under load. The shock absorbers are strong, the mileage before replacement for the original functions, depending on the load and the evenness of the roads, from 150 to 200,000. The hydroactive 3 plus system, which combines power steering and suspension, is not unreliable, but there are an order of magnitude more problems with it and it is much more expensive. The main trouble is leaks of high-pressure pipes to the rear hydraulic cylinders WOWO527VP and WOWO527VG. On older machines, the power steering return pipe is still corroding at the entrance to the rail. The tubes usually flow along the rolling, but over time all rings also begin to leak, and in front suspension it's better to remove the subframe from replacement, otherwise the rings are easy to jam. It's not necessary to buy new pipes, you can simply re-squeeze the old ones. The hydraulic cylinders themselves serve more than 150,000 with minimal maintenance and are well restored. Maintenance consists of at least anti-corrosion coating of the outer surface and control of the working pressure. The spheres of the hydraulic cylinders are also restored, they can be pumped up with nitrogen, but sometimes there is nothing to restore if the housing of the sphere is rotten or the membrane is torn. The price of the new one is about 1700. There are seven of them. The pump will pull by 2000 and the stiffness regulator block by 800. And these are only the main units, but there are also the aforementioned tubes and not only. In general, while the hydroactive on the second generation C5 is still holding and everything doesn't break right away, except for completely neglected copies. But the owner should always have a vat of money in stock and a couple of liters of total LDS 166224 in case of a leak. Suspension fault threatens not only front and rear silent blocks, but also lockers. You can only move in this position at an ultra low speed. The power steering, as already mentioned, has the same contour as the suspension, otherwise it's quite typical and reliable. The rail is strong knocks appear mainly during operation on completely dead roads and are usually treated by replacing the bushings, less often with a complete bulkhead. 
On machines with a spring suspension, the system is equipped with an EGUR. Its pump is strong more than 200,000, go quietly, and the only problem is not very well laid wiring. All transmission units are well known from other PSA machines. The manual transmissions are 5-speed BE4, BE4R, and 6-speed ML6C. Automatic machines 4-speed AL4 or 6-speed AM6 are car icing TF80SC. European robots practically didn't get to us, which can be considered good news. Mechanical gearboxes on PSA are not an example of reliability, but they perform their duties quite decently up to at least 200-250 thousand kilometers. The main thing is to monitor and timely eliminate oil leaks and listen to extraneous noises when they are just incipient. The wear is mainly related to synchronizers and to a lesser extent to holding bearings. The 6-speed gearbox and it is installed on almost all engines, except for pre-style gasoline-aspired engines, has another problematic part, a two-mass flywheel. On this generation of C5 there are no special changes in the box, all the same resource 120-150 thousand to the capital with careful operation. A relatively strong mechanical part, an unsuccessful valve body and a tendency to overheat. All the characteristic features are in place. Fortunately, it is rarely found on the C5, only with a 2-liter gasoline engine before restyling. Very rare robots for 1.6 engines are worth mentioning for only one reason. PSA has opted for a design from Magneti Morelli, well known as sail speed on Alfa Romeo and Fiat. The bulk of the automatic C5 come with the ASIN TF80 SC. It was installed with both turbocharged 1.6 and 3.0 liter V6 and with all diesels, including the most running 2 liter ones. The box, by the standards of a 6 step, is quite strong and successful, but it is afraid of dirty oil and overheating. In the case of Citroën, oil leaks from the head exchanger are added to the typical problems. Gaskets are crumpled and oil flows outward and antifreeze into oil. The consequences are the saddest loss of pressure, overheating, clogged well body. You need to check the oil level regularly. It is a pity that there is no dipstick, so the procedure must be trusted by the masters when carrying out maintenance. An oil change is recommended here at least after 60,000 and better twice as often. When diagnosing, the operating parameters of this automatic transmission can be viewed by the scanner, but unfortunately this will not give such detailed information about the state of the box, as in the case of the Mechatronic ZF. A driving test is mandatory. If you feel twitching when shifting between 3rd, 4th and 5th gears, most likely the well body or pump is already worn out. About 20% of the supply of C5 on the market is diesel, which seems to be a little but quite significant by Russian standards. Of 80% of gasoline cars, most unfortunately with the infamous Prince units. The motors have been gradually upgraded and design flaws have been eliminated, but they remain unsuccessful. There are chances to leave 150 to 100,000 before the overhaul, especially for late cars, but not very great. The EW7A, EW10A engine family of 1.8 and 2.0 liters is distinguished by enviable health and reliability. Moreover, it is one of the most successful units of the early 21st century in its class. Inexpensive, simple, with a reliable timing belt, compact, easy to maintain and quite maintainable. Oil appetite occurs mainly with runs over 200,000 and oil change intervals of 20-30 thousand kilometers. With an oil change every 10,000 km, they are capable of 500 plus mileage. There are no problems with oil pressure and early wear of the piston group, but there are enough minor problems in operation. There are oil leaks and electrical problems. The ventilation system with an oil separator in the lid becomes clogged over time. Its nozzles become overgrown with deposits, as a result leaks appear and the inlet becomes very dirty. The throttle valve gets dirty along the chain, the revolutions begin to float, the plastic of the intake manifold and its flaps deteriorate. Cylinder head cover leaks finish off the tips of the ignition modules and the wiring of the engine injectors. Inside the motor, the oil pump in lab pipe gasket is aging, which can cause a drop in oil pressure and long dry riding when starting in cold weather. The gaskets of the oil water heat exchanger must be changed without waiting for the formation of an emulsion in the oil or oil leaks through the oil filter glass. Leaking oil often finishes off the wiring to the starter, which adds another problem to the box. Hydraulic lifters are far from eternal. After 150,000 run, they can be asked for replacement, pumping for a long time and making themselves felt with a characteristic knock. 
The extremely rare gasoline 3.0 V6 ES9A series are also strong, but the complexity of the design and the presence of some miscalculations, such as plastic cylinder head covers, weak aluminum pipes of the cooling system in the back of the block, cause a well-deserved portion of criticism. There are more oil leaks and the appetite is easily matched to 16-18 liters per 100, even with the modern 6-speed automatic transmission. Diesels are mainly represented by variants of the 2-liter DW10, another old and very successful series of engines. The main problems are predictably associated with not very successful injectors, glow plugs and injection pumps. The power system is sensitive to the pressure of the fuel pump in a tank, the tightness of the fuel supply line and the condition of the wiring to the injectors on the engine itself. To extend the service life, it is recommended that after the first hundreds of thousands of mileage, approximately every 50,000 change the nozzles of the nozzles and their seals. Low power economical diesel 1.6 DV6 DET4 is another rarity. Here is a superly capricious EGR. The exhaust system is always with a particular filter and a complex control system, cutting power with or without reason. With runs over 200, the engine is sensitive to problems of the fuel equipment. You can catch burnout of the piston due to the current injector and, if you do not change the antifreeze for years, then also the corrosion of the cylinder liners. This high-tech engine requires careful maintenance in a specialized service, where they understand its features. Needless to say, there are practically no such services. On this, information about the problems of Citroën C5 is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.